Hi, my name is Terry Sproul and I want to welcome you to my studio. Today I'm going to show you this really cute little project I've had in my head for a couple days. First I took a small leather bound book that I glued the, um, opened it up and then glued down the edges and here you see me taking gel medium and doing it right on the edge of the book. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to glue that whole book together for us. Instead of gluing each page, I'm gluing the edge with the gel medium. So it's real simple to do, so give that a try. And then weigh it down and do, leave it there for about 24 hours. Then I grabbed a 12 by 12 canvas and black gesso, and I'm painting the whole canvas black here. Real simple to do. So again, I'm just painting and using um, black gesso to get a nice base on my canvas. And this is, again, a 12 by 12 canvas that I purchased at Michael's. And here I'm just trying to remind you to always do your edges. I have to admit, I'm bad about remembering that all the time. And it really is important. It makes a big difference. So do your edges. While I was at Michael's, I found this wooden frame and it fits in the 12 by 12 canvas perfectly. And here I'm hot gluing it down with my Ad Tech hot glue gun. And just, you know, doing a simple glue down, nothing fancy. And I'm kind of centering it because I did want it to sit in the center. Oh, great tip right here. You know how when you get those little stringies from the glue gun? Try your heat gun. Take your heat gun to it. It takes all those little stringies away and melts them away. Then I grab my black gesso once again, and here I am going to paint that um, black, that canvas, that um, frame I just put on, all in black also. So as you can see, the theme here is my whole background is going to be black. And yes, I could have um, painted them separately, but it's easier with them on the canvas. Now I'm grabbing a bunch of embellishments, as you can see here. I have flowers, I have metal pieces, I even have a spoon. And I'm, I'm gluing that down, and I'm just all kinds of miscellaneous metal and flowers. I'm not caring what color they are at this point, if they're different types of metals, like golds and bronze. Doesn't matter. Just get them all glued down. So I'm, again, I'm using my hot glue because I'm not worried about anything here being um, acid-free or anything. Chipboard, that's a piece of chipboard right there. Again, that's a bunch of just miscellaneous paper flowers. Gluing it all down. Again, grabbing that hot um, heat gun to get rid of that uh, little stringies. And here I was just checking to see if my book fit in there. You know, I knew that it fit in there, but I just want to make sure the balance of the book is well. So I just throw it in there every once in a while and just take a look at what I'm doing and making sure I've got good balance. Continuing to add, um, that's a word that says dream. It's a metal word. That's another metal piece I'm gluing in there. So I'm just keeping on adding, making sure my balance, I'm always looking at my balance on my layout here, is, um, is nicely done. Again, grabbing my black gesso. And now I'm painting everything I just laid down, again, with the black gesso. So just getting it. Now this one, I have to admit, it takes a little while, guys, so, you know, pay attention and get, you know, get it done. Here I grab some white gesso, lots of water, and I'm going to just do a white wash on top of this book, because I don't want that text to show so much. I'm kind of covering it up, but yet I still want the, um, the depth that I'm going to get by letting the text show through a little with the watered-down gesso. Letting that dry, and I just got a little much on there, so I am wiping it off there with the baby wipes just so I can still see that text, but it's still, it's way in the background. Got my distressed inks and this great uh, stencil brush that I like to use that gives you a really cool effect. And I'm going around the edges of this book because I just painted it all white. Now it doesn't look old to me now, so I'm just kind of getting it in there and, you know, giving it more color and, and you know, dried because when it does dry, it does give you a little bit of a different effect. So if you take that heat gun and dry it every once in a while, 
Now I'm grabbing my uh, Memories ink pad in Art Print Brown. I really like this color brown and I didn't want black. I really want it brown. And I'm stamping this hot off the press floral stamp. It's a big flower and as you can see I'm stamping off the book. So it's kind of like peeking in on the corner there. And the same set there is a quote stamp that I'm also using that says follow the music to your heart. Now here, I did cut some of this out and I apologize for this. This is um, Primary Elements, a fan brush. And what I did is I sprinkled all those four colors all over this canvas and then sprayed it with water. And somehow that got cut out, so I apologize for that. Then I'm grabbing some metallic rub-on. So you could also get over at Michael's, they have um, rub and buff. That would work also. And I'm just hitting all that metal that we have on there I'm hitting the highlights of it because it all has a lot of depth in it. So I'm hitting just the top, so that's why I'm using my finger. Just to get a real, real, real light touch in there. Just make sure those, um, the, those specialties come out, especially right around that spoon and right around the edge of the frame. I also did it real heavy on there. And that spoon on the whole the edge of the spoon, I made sure I got my finger really deep in there. Really made a difference. Okay, again, checking for my book, making sure it still fits in there and I haven't overlapped too much. I did have to, you know, I'm moving things around. I'm mean, grabbing just a hot glue gun again. This is one from Ad Tech. Glue in the whole back. And then I'm gluing that book in there, making sure I get underneath those embellishments. And that's the end, guys. Thank you very much for checking out my really cool video. Again, my name is Terry Sproul, and I just love my canvas. Thanks for stopping by.